Every red dress is unique and has a story. These dresses that have come to life, they're kind of like an installation voice telling their story for the first time, a story and a voice that was taken away from them too soon. Michelle Elise Burnett is the creator of the Red Dress exhibit. I'm always trying to find ways to, in platforms, to tell our story so that people can hear and see and understand who we are. Each of the dresses represents and tells the story of an Indigenous woman who was murdered, went missing, or experienced violence. They're women that are children, they're women that have children, they're women that want to have children, their wives, there's their aunties, they're everywhere in between. Each exhibit can be heard by scanning a barcode on your phone and then listening to the story behind the red dress. It was really powerful and uh, like heartbreaking to see all of the stories and to hear them as well. From uh, I feel it's really important to uh, hear their stories and uh, gain more awareness of this. And an exhibit like this, I think, really uh, sheds a light on um, just the uh, missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. The goal of the exhibit is not only to educate, but to also bring change. Reminds us that this is a horrific issue that there are crimes, terrible crimes, being committed against Native American women, and many of them going unsolved or unpunished, even if the perpetrator is known. And we need to find a way to stop this. We need to find a way to bring awareness to this so that this issue doesn't continue. While this exhibit does wrap up here today in St. Catharines, the organizer says the goal is to have it eventually travel all across Canada. Sean Cowan, CHCH News, St. Catharines.